The first part is PC, the rest is on PS4. From now on, the seat will remain on PS4 as it's better quality. Hope you enjoy. Follow my Twitch, John underscore Yates, as I'm doing a giveaway at 100 followers. Hello, welcome back to another vlog on the farm. So, I've got a few things to discuss. As you probably noticed, we've got a bit more money in our bank account. That is because uh, I was able to sell the quad bike. So that's all gone, which is good, because obviously we now have the Gator. So don't have to worry about that. Uh, the next news is, uh, I think I'm going to sell my two tractors. Uh, that is the medium-sized tractors. So the John Deere here, and the Ford. Um, yeah, I've just been thinking... I don't really need two medium tractors now. I've got the 135 as well, which I believe is uh, in the shed over here. I think that's where I put it. Yeah, I can see it there. Yeah, we've got the 135, so I don't need three tractors, cause just because we've got that very small bit of land. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to sell them and get a slightly bigger one, but still a fairly old tractor. So I was thinking uh, John Deere still, and uh, maybe a 40 series. It's a bit bigger than those two, but I can sell these two to get that one a bit more horsepower and slightly bigger. I would also get it with a uh, front attacher as well, because obviously that one's got a front loader. Uh, if, if I didn't get that, we'd be missing out, so I'd definitely try and find one with a front loader. But yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead, sell them. So that's that. And uh, finally, the farm. Uh, I had the Environment Agency come around, or scientists from the Environment Agency, and they said that uh, there's a lot of rain and a lot of water that collects here, because it's in the bottom of a hill, as you can see there's sort of hills all sides of us, and uh, that can make the land a, a little bit dangerous, so I've been doing some tests, they said there could be some landslips and even some sinkholes possible on this bit of land, so they've actually advised me to move. So I've, I've taken them off on that, and I think I may well do that. In fact, <laughs> I will be. I will be moving. But don't worry, I won't be moving far. I will probably just be moving about a mile up the road. Sort of near um, Anthony's farm, that area. Just a little bit uphill, so I won't be going far. Uh, so yeah, that's going to cost quite a bit. My farm is insured, so I shouldn't be losing out on anything there as such. I don't think I'll have to like, completely sell one in, like we do and that should be fine obviously transportation fees are going to cost a lot i'll have to move my vehicles but hopefully uh, that will all go well uh, the sheds and stuff i'll keep i will take these down or well, they will be collapsed and then the silos and things they will all be taken over to my next uh farm uh obviously by the time we get there i will probably have sold these too so uh, yeah to be honest uh, i just thought i'd update you on that i don't really think there's anything else for me to do on this part of the farm. Now look, <laughs> it's a lovely rainbow. Must be a clearing this rain. But uh, yeah, for now, there's not really anything to do. So I suppose I will see you in about a month when I've moved. And uh, yeah, if I've moved, hopefully it's all gone well, but I should be. But yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I will see you in about a month's time. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. So, I have moved. I have officially moved location to uh, just a bit further up the road. And this is my uh, new farm. So, uh, pretty much still the same, actually. But uh, just in a different location. So, I've still got my caravan here. Still got my uh, gator. And I've got my sheds as well. The sheds were able to be moved, I've got all my equipment still, none of that's changed, all still the same. Uh, apart from my tractor, which is here, I've now got this, it's my John Deere 40 series. A uh, bit bigger than the other two, but it's still quite old, you can tell by the cab. So I was able to sell those two for a reasonable price and buy this for basically the same. Uh, my money has gone down a bit since last time most of that was the transportation fees and things just moving all the buildings and all the vehicles across that cost quite a lot 
but yeah everything's here combines here 135 like i said the sheds are here and the silos are here and the bunkers there and as you see the house down there believe it or not that is anthony's house that is how close we are we own the land opposite his house so if ever we need to work with him we don't even need to drive to work all we've got to do is just cut through the hedge here obviously look out for traffic both ways <laughs> and then uh, yeah we're basically at work so dead easy uh, that land was up for sale so yeah i i took it definitely oh it was available as such uh, i didn't have, uh, i did have to buy it uh yeah that was all uh, okay because obviously i had to move from my other location but yeah really nice i'm so glad we uh we moved in the end just because that would have been awful if uh you know <laughs> we had lost one of the tractors or the whole entire field to a massive sinkhole that would have been devastating so in the long run that probably would have saved us more money now bet what you're wondering is this the field uh next to us the one we planted and the other half was grass we're going to keep that field for now that's the field down there still we will still keep that because uh yeah that's just a field i suppose that goes that's it's not the end of the world yeah it's a loss of money but at least we won't be losing like any sheds or any machinery and stuff plus uh the scientists actually did observations in that field and it didn't even look as bad as the field we had the yard on so if we had had the yard on the other field that would have been the right but i could have put it there but i didn't really want to risk it just in case there still was the issue but uh yeah everything seems fine but uh, anyway what we need to do is actually head over to that field because um I'm going to see if it needs fertilising, which I might do later, but there's also a bit of grass there I want to get cut. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to cut the grass over at that field. So we'll hop in to here. Here we go. Inside the cab, that's what it looks like. Very nice, spacious. But yeah, I'm going to drop this off. Uh, I don't need the front loader, so I'll go into drone view. So you can see that. Here we go. Lovely. Pop this front loader back on the ground here. There we go. And then uh, attach the mower. There you go. Hop out. There you go. Done. Attached back in here and uh, yeah I will see you over at the other field I would also show you what uh, the farm looks like now obviously it's just an empty space where my farm was sadly so uh, yeah I will see you there hello so yes I'm over at this uh, field here and yeah, this is ours we're still keeping this but yeah, this uh, first bit is grass, which I'm just going to cut now. I might not even do anything with this the first time. Just want to cut it really, just so it, the weeds don't spread over onto this field because it's quite tall. So I just cut this back. That should stop weeds. But yeah, here we go. This is ours. We still own. And uh, next door uh, was our yard. As uh, you'll be able to see if we cut through here, it's just uh, nothing left really. <laughs> Everything's gone. But this was originally our yard. But yeah, bit sad, but at the same time, I'm glad uh, I'm glad we moved. <laughs> One of the main things we lost is the uh, the castle view. We could actually see the castle. I don't think we can see it from where we are now, but it's not that far away. I say it's only about a mile or so up the road. But yeah. Anyway, let me just uh, hop into the tractor here. I will go into a drone view so you can see this being cut there we go just reverse a little bit there just to get the better angle on it there we go Ooh, a little bit in the head there cool so yeah this first cut like I said I'm probably not going to do a pinning with I'll leave it here it looks like it's going to be sunny um, so yeah it's in fact nearly summer it's only a few weeks off and it's uh, in the summertime so that's good 
yeah hopefully I settle quite well into the new area settle well into this new farm I don't see us moving now I reckon we've, we've settled in we're now higher up so out of the floods and uh, yeah haven't really got anything to worry about now so we'll be working on our own farm here as well as uh, working for Anthony but I don't think we'll work for, for Anthony today uh, just because we've got some to do here obviously we've got our grass to cut and then uh, fertiliser to put on but yeah there you go let me know if you watch my uh, vlogs don't know who does uh, should we do anything with this grass or should we just leave it because there's going to be other cuts in the year that we can do something with maybe I'll just leave it and see what becomes of it I don't have any animals myself yet I would uh, potentially like to get some sheep or something but uh, maybe not yet but I suppose if we sell it that can help with our mortgage because we still have the what £50,000 uh, mortgage to pay off so uh, yeah maybe maybe we will uh, sell but yeah, anyway, um, I think I'll probably do like a speed run here. I could do a jump cut, but no, I think I do. A, I think I do a speed run. It's relaxing to uh, cut grass. So yeah, I will see you uh, once this field is done. There we go, we are done. Uh, you can see <laughs> from the drone view there that this uh, is an old tractor because it uh, produces quite a lot of uh, black st steam or smoke coming out the exhaust there. So you can definitely tell it's a bit older. Not really environmentally friendly, but uh, I suppose at the end of the day it's cheaper. So yeah, um, anyone got any ideas as well for what we could do, what we can aim for? on the farm in the future whether it's animals or just more fields anyone uh, who watches the vlogs got ideas and uh, yeah let me know anyway i will meet you back at my farm i'll probably have uh, a quick break and then i'll well yeah i'll come back here to be honest i'll meet you back here in about an hour or so uh, i'll come back with some fertilizer and then uh, yeah we'll fertilize that field so i'll see you then Hello. So yes, I am back and wow, I had to get some fertilizer. The price of fertilizer is very expensive. But I suppose if you're gonna be fertilizing your crop, then uh, you need to put it on because you get about a year without it. So in the end, hopefully I'll be making some sort of profit. And yeah, this fertilizer should last us anyway. Uh, a few times, but yeah, I decided to come on the 135 a just to uh, to use it give it a use and uh, secondly uh, it's got narrow tires as well so it's not going to be uh, crushing the crop here which is nice so uh, i turn this on here we go you can see fertilizer coming out the back i could fertilize the grass as well next time we cut it obviously it's too late now but yeah next time we cut the go to cut the grass i'll fertilize it and get a bit more so uh yeah I'll just go around in a circle here and then just up and down a few times here we go but yeah lovely area that we're in really beautiful and uh, like I say it just gets us away from uh, the carnage that uh, was in Devon hopefully being here we won't have any of that but uh, yes anyway I will see you once this is fully fertilised. There we go. Done. That's the field fertilised. I will have to do it another once or twice uh, this season. But uh, yeah. 
that is done for now at least. Won't have to do that for another few weeks. Probably again in summertime before it's cut. But uh, yeah, anyway, I will meet you again once I'm back at my farm. Yeah, here we go, finally back at the new farm. So uh, yeah, there's not really much to vlog today. I did say uh, I wasn't going to help half, uh, say I wasn't going to help out Anthony, but I may well go and see if there's anything doing. If not, I suppose just settling in, making sure everything is uh, is okay. But yeah, for now I don't think there's much else I need to vlog. So uh, yeah, next time just working for Anthony and uh, bits around my farm. And like I said, if anyone has any ideas of what we could uh, work up towards, uh, let me know. Obviously we can't just go and buy cows like right now, we don't have the money, but we can end up working towards something like that eventually. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching this vlog and I will see you next time where it may still be spring or it may be summer. Goodbye.